Global Surge is a new way of doing collaborative research. We do this without funding, we do it in our spare time. We contact grassroots junior clinicians, surgeons, about the world and get them to start doing research on the patients that they are looking after. So one of the exciting things about the work that we're undertaking is that we're trying to turn the traditional model of research upside down. The benefits to this type of work are, are multiple. You will have benefits for your region, people will come and give you training days and education. And our methodology is essentially um, a global professional crowdsourcing of clinical data. You get to learn how to write papers, you get to learn how to write protocols and apply for funding. We develop high quality peer-reviewed protocols and we disseminate these internationally which allows frontline clinicians to collect bedside level data and feed that back from around the world. And that allows us to collect a very economical, efficient and effective real-time data. We do it with modern technology. We use a lot of social media. Young surgeons all across the world are using Facebook. They're using Twitter. We have secure online data collection systems which do not require individuals to be connected to the internet. In each hospital, there will be a slightly different method as to identifying which patients should be included in the Global Surge study. Another important part of the work of Global Surge is taking um, research skills training abroad. Um, we're here in Rwanda today delivering a, a research skills course for local medical students. The aim for us is to inspire you to actually start doing some research yourself. It is all about empowering people. It has to come from the people on the ground, the people who know the patients best and the people who know their communities best. It has very positive impact on medical students, on doctors who are practicing here and in general on the healthcare system of Rwanda. The crucial thing there is if you teach someone well and if you impart lots of knowledge and you build those links and you build those friendships, you can then get those people to teach other people and other people and so it's a propagating message and as a result of that we can then take those ideas that we've formed and we've discussed from the data everyone is sharing across the world from the crowdsourced data and then take it into clinical trials where we can say yes this does make a difference and we can change patient care. We can make a sustainable global impact with the work that we're undertaking at the moment. This isn't just about research and outcomes. This is also about building networks and communities where they didn't previously exist, about delivering audit and research in places where that wasn't previously happening. But in order to make that sustainable, we need support to build that communication and to build that network over the years to come.